Hello there and welcome back to Survival Existence. Today we're going to look at this little Bursa Thunder 380. It's having some issues. The gun evidently hasn't been used that much. Matter of fact, from what I've seen of the gun and the underside of the slide, the uh, gun probably hasn't had but one to maybe at most three boxes of uh, shell shot through it. But at the particular time, the gentleman who purchased it didn't clean it before he uh, started shooting it. And then after he shot it, he just put it up on the shelf and didn't touch it anymore. So as a consequence, I'm feeling like more than likely the problem with this little gun is that it uh, needs to be cleaned and properly lubricated. Of course, as always, before you work on any kind of firearm, you always clear the firearm and uh, make sure that it's in fact not loaded, certainly not one in the chamber. So first off, what we'll do is drop the magazine and we see that it's empty. We'll also put the magazine back in this time. Then we'll open the slide slightly and look in the chamber. And what we're looking for in the chamber is actually an empty chamber. Don't look inside a, any gun's chamber and look for it to have a round because it could have a round. You'll think in your own mind, well, okay, it's got a round and then end up shooting yourself or somebody. So you're always looking for an empty chamber. Uh, what I'm going to do with this gun before I... Uh, even try to do any kind of mechanical work on it whatsoever is that I'm going to lube this gun. It won't necessarily be properly lubed, but it will lube it and I'll see if it'll start functioning properly. The problem with this gun's function is that you pull the hammer back, but it will not trip the uh, hammer. What I'll do next is remove the hand grips from this gun using a proper size gunsmith screwdrivers. Um, as always, I strongly suggest getting a set of, of uh, gunsmith screwdrivers. Don't use just a regular old hardware type screwdriver because you will booger the screws up. One of the ways you can tell an amateur has been working on a gun is to look at the screw heads. If they have disassembled it whatsoever, they'll be boogered up. This one is not. So I'll go ahead and take these grips off of it and I'll set the screw and the grip half to the side then I will remove the other side. These screwdriver bits that go with this gunsmith screwdriver set fit the uh, slots and the screws just almost perfectly and it's very intentional. That's what keeps you boogering up the slot and the screw heads. Drop this magazine on back out of here. Now we're down to the frame. I'm going to go ahead and take the slide on off so I can get to the uh, top of this uh, action also. And how you remove the slide to field strip a uh, Bursa Thunder 380 is this lever right here. You pull it all the way down. I've seen some people work these levers like this and you can but you got to make sure and keep it pushed all the way forward. Do it that way and bring this off like this or you can pull it around this way and hold it with your finger and remove it like this. But I find that it is actually much easier if your hands are large enough to hold that forward. Pull the slide back and then ease it forward with the main spring. Then you can get to the top. As you can see, this action from the feed ramp looking down the barrel and uh, every other place in this particular gun is quite filthy and it's very obvious that it's never been cleaned and appears that it wasn't even clean when it was purchased new. Do you see your trigger disconnect here? How it operates and it's even a little bit sticky in and of itself. I'm going to take this rim oil and a cloth and uh, oil 
the various parts of the uh, action that are actually moving and we'll see if it doesn't uh, loosen it up and make it go ahead and shoot. It's quite obvious that regardless of whether I spray oil on it now or not that I still need to clean it properly and I will after I uh, spray oil in it see if I can get everything loose and see if that's actually the problem. Now the hammer should not drop with the slide off. It actually has a, a fail safe on it to keep from uh, driving the hammer into the frame. I'm actually glad that the hammer won't drop this point. Because actually there's a lever on the top here that has to be down in order for the hammer to drop. Okay, I've done some checking on the location of this particular spring because when I took the grip off, the spring was caught up and under this large washer on this trigger disconnect. And I was pretty sure it didn't belong there, although I put it back on there just to see, you know, what the issue was. But come to find out, that spring should actually be on the back side of this disconnect. There's a groove right there where it fits in, where it's supposed to go. And that's probably where our issue is with this particular gun. I'm going to put it back down in there and uh, we'll see if the gun doesn't function properly. Which, that's all it took to put it back down in there. Now that trigger feels a whole lot better because it did feel like it was grinding horribly bad. Whenever you reassemble this, put your mainspring back on, slide your slide over it while pushing this forward. But keep an eye on that trigger disconnect and make sure it stays down because that little lip right there that's right there at the edge of my thumb must absolutely be in the slide or it will not reassemble. And it constantly tries to pop out. That's what it takes. Turn that lever back up. Okay, let's see if we're going to function now. Okay, it should not function there. Put that back up. Still should not function because the magazine is not in. Okay, let me disconnect that. Let me place the magazine back in. Oop. Put that back up there. There it functions. Somebody evidently had had this uh, handgun apart, at least had the grips off and probably had it completely apart and did not replace the spring where it, its proper location is right there. They had let it slide up and is in under the handle, the hand grips. Okay, I, all I should have to do is uh, clean this gun fairly well and it should be good to go. Make sure, check for everything, do a safety check. Make sure your hammer is good and solid. The release on the hammer causes it to go forward and it does. Pull the trigger. No magazine. Put the magazine in. Functions perfectly. This particular type of firearm or this particular brand and uh, model of firearm will not fire without the magazine being inside. And of course the magazine release is right here. And drops it out. Pretty good magazine release, actually. These appear to be fairly well built, a uh, little old 380s. Uh, you know, if you're in the market for 380, it'd probably be a good buy for you. I do not like it not firing with the uh, magazine out, but other than that, they seem to be pretty good. Fairly well built. Has a last shot hold. Seems to function rather well. This is a Bursa Thunder 380. Um, not a bad deal. Buy it used for $150. I don't think you'd do much better. And they appear to be fairly well built guns. This has been Bobby with Survival Existence, helping you help yourself. Come visit us on Facebook. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. Come visit us at our website at survivalexistence.com. Have a good day.